You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this video, I'm going to talk about Junos interface initial configuration. Opposite to Cisco devices, when you configure multiple IP addresses in one interface in Juniper devices, they are not replaced, but all IP addresses will be added to the interface. Now the question is, which IP address will be used as the source IP address when the packets are originated from the Juniper device itself and from that interface. The answer of this question is actually the discussion of Juno's primary and preferred address, which is the topic of this section. In Juniper devices, physical properties such as speed and duplex are configured in a different context than logical configuration such as IP address, which is called unit section or logical context. In Cisco devices, when you configure multiple IP address in one interface, you only see the latest IP address since it's replaced the other IP addresses, unless you use the keyword secondary at the end of non-primary IP addresses. But in Juniper devices, by default, all IP addresses are added to the interface unless you delete the old IP address. When multiple IP addresses are configured, you have the option to select one of the IP addresses as primary and also one IP address as preferred address. What is the difference between Jonas primary and preferred address? Preferred address is used as the source address for packets originated from the device itself and from that interface. And primary address is used as the source address for broadcast and multicast packets originated from this interface. As previously explained, configuring physical interface properties such as a speed, duplex or MTU requires to enter the physical context, which is configure and then set interface giga ethernet for example 000, zero, zero. this is the physical context you can configure for example speed mtu and duplex with a link mode full duplex with a speed for example 1g and with MTU, we can also change the MTU, which I don't change it and leave it as default configuration. But to configure IPv4 or IPv6 address, you have to enter the logical context, which is called unit in Juniper devices. That means unit zero, and then with family command, we have the option INET for configuring IPv4 address and INET6 for configuring IPv6 address and then INET and then address 192, 168, 1, 100, 1 slash 24. As I have explained, Earlier in Juniper devices, we are allowed to configure multiple IP addresses without being replaced. So I can configure the second IP address, 102. And when we check the configuration, show compare, we can see the both IP addresses will be added to the interface. But I used 102 as the preferred address. And I add another, the third IP address, 103, as the primary address. And with command show compare, we can make sure that the all IP addresses will be added to the device. With commit command, we can commit our configuration. And then with run show configuration interface. GE-000, as you can see, all three IP addresses are applied to the interface. Just to be able to test which IP address is used as the source address, I have to configure security zones options in SRX 
to generate traffic. We have not yet learned security zones concept and you can ignore the concept at this step. Just I want to test it to make sure which IP address will be used as a source IP address. If your device is not SRX firewall and it is just a router, then you don't need to configure security zone options. Actually, you don't have any security zone option in the configuration at all. With a command uh, set security zone and again security zone on trust interface ge-000 and security zone on trust pass inbound traffic protocol all to permit all traffic especially ICMP traffic which I'm going to test with it and also I want to add a default route to ping the external network so and set routing options a static route 000, 000 stash 0 next hop 192 168 and I want to delete the old next hop address delete which we have configured in the previous sections and then with command show compare the next hop is changed and we have added interface giga 10 0 0 as an interface in uh, on trust security zone and we have uh, permitted all traffic in this interface so commit after configuring security zone and gateway address now we can test a ping connectivity to local subnet and also external subnet from device juniper device itself to see which of these addresses are used as the source address before that I check the traffic with TCP dump command in a Linux machine and then in the same subnet and then ping with command run ping for example 192.168.1.1.1 which is the IP address of this Linux machine and when we ping the ping is established and we can see the source IP address is 192.168.1.102 which is our preferred address and this is also true when we uh, ping it to the external network for example 888 and again with the Google we can see the source of traffic is 192.168.1.102 again just notice that the source IP address is the preferred address when the traffic is originated from Juniper device itself and from this interface. Forwarding traffic is not included in this concept.